So, why don't we do all cases with guides? Well, there's the cost of the guide. There's the cost of software. There's a the lab time. There's the inconvenience of it. It takes two weeks to get it back from the lab, right? Well, guys, here's our answer. The Blue Sky Plan software is free. It's free to use, free to plan, right? There is a charge to export the file up to the lab or to a 3D printer. It's about $15 US, right? Very minimal cost. So about a year and a half ago, I started using Blue Sky Plan. And I went one step further. I went back to being a geek. I told you, I went out and bought these geek, geek glasses. It was not, I was not kidding, all right? I found this 3D printer. I literally <coughs> found it. I, was, I, had I had several 3D printers. And I found a 3D printer that would allow us to make a surgical guide in our office, total cost, including the $15 export fee from Blue Sky Plans. And you have to buy a metal sleeve to put into the guide. Total cost for about $20 US. We just printed a few guides there, and I'll talk more about that. But Blue Sky is giving away the software. You want to know another person who's also giving away stuff? This guy. Who's that guy? Anybody? Elon. Elon Musk. Tesla. Right? In 2014, he gave away all the patents to his competitors. Why would he do that? First of all, he's worth billions. But secondly, he's trying to change the world. You cannot change the world by yourself. And he realized this. Right? He gave away all the patents to their battery technology, to their motors, everything that you see in that car. Any one of his competitors can use his patents, right? Because he's trying to change the world. It's no good having one car that you can drive 200 miles and can't find a charger for it, right? The only way we're gonna change the world is to get other people involved. Frankly, the other companies aren't coming on board. And he's doing it by himself. It's an amazing, amazing thing to do. And he's going up against some pretty powerful interests, like oil companies. <laughs> so, an amazing guy. Hit my hat there. So, this is a 3D printer. This is the software that comes with a 3D printer. This is how long it takes, about two hours to print the guy. This is what it costs to print the guy. What is that, 32 pence? Is that what you call it here? Is that a lot of money? No, it's ridiculously cheap. Right? And I hate to say that because, you know, here I am as an educator telling you to use something for a medical purpose, and I'm calling it ridiculously cheap, but it really is. All right? Uh, here's what 3D printing is, if those of you don't know anything about 3D printing. It's just simply layering material using computer software, right? The layer material, and you can see it in action over here. Uh, but the idea here is we can design the case on the computer, export it to the 3D printer, and within a couple of hours, have a surgical bed. Okay. Let's look at a case. This is why you're here. This is you. You, we took out this tooth, did a socket graft, Four months later, this is what he looks like. Okay? We plan the case in the Blue Sky Plan. We export the guide. And here's his actual surgery. By the way, this is a double screen. Printed on a Robox printer. 
This is a blue sky drill. It's a biopet drill, one drill. All right. And you'll notice as you pull the drill out, you're harvesting bone. Take that bone and put it away somewhere. You never know when you might need it. All right. That's the patient's own bone. In and out, right? A couple of times with the drill. Lots of uh, irrigation. You'll see my assistant coming with the, with the saline solution, irrigating as well. I'm not here to teach you how to place implants. I only have about 20 minutes left, I think. Maybe not that much. Right. So, we're going in a few times here with the drill. done with the drilling. We're now going to place the implant. Can you use the same with the inspection of the implant? Yes, one drill. Here's the implant. We're now going to hand tighten it down. This is nothing new. You've seen this before. And I always gauge my implant placement uh, visually. They do have implant guides that you can use place the implant to depth as well. That's available to export from the software. And then we're going to suture. I'm not going to show you the suturing. You all know how to suture. But basically, um, we're going to put a cover screw on. I'll let this integrate for four months. And then we're going to load the implant. All right. That bone, by the way, that we harvested off the drill, stored in a little bit of saline. And like Peter showed, where the patient had a deficiency on the buckle, you can actually pack that bone in and use it as a graft as well, and then suture the side up. In this case, you don't need to put a membrane because the implant is basically covered by bone already. It's just for additional aesthetic grafting, basically. All right? That costs you nothing. So, and a couple of chromic sutures, and we're done. So, how did we do? What you're seeing here is an overlay of the actual implant of post-op CDCP and the plan of where I plan to place the implant. Right? You can see I didn't get the implant as deep as I had planned it. So what? Remember I said I checked it visually. It had bone all the way around it, I stopped. I didn't need to go any deeper. And I actually placed it. And as far as the, the drilling of the site, that's how accurate you can be. All right? As far as accuracy, any of you use surgical guides right now? Okay. What does your lab that, that's making your surgical guides, what do they guarantee as far as accuracy of your placement? Are they, can they guarantee you within a tenth of a millimeter? One millimeter? Two millimeters? I mean, they're not going to guarantee you? You're kidding me. Ah, see? No lab will guarantee you, no matter which software company or whatever it is, will guarantee that your implants can be placed accurately. All right, it's up to you as the doctor. Here's an axial cut. That's where I plan the implant, and what you see in the white behind it is where the actual implant is moved up. All right, let's look at another case, a little bit more challenging. This is Shania, she's 36 years old, post-orthodontic treatment. She came over from the orthodontist. Unfortunately, our orthodontist didn't really develop the space here properly. And we were really, really tight on space. I could only get two very small implants into that space. So let's see how we did. I don't have a video that can take too much time, but I planned two implants in that space, as you can see here, right? In the Blue Sky software, and one implant in the molar site. Exported it out to the 3D printer, printed a guide for about, I don't know, total cost on this, maybe 25 bucks, because I have to buy a couple of Right. Put it in the patient's mouth, drill the sites, place the implants. Here's the, the site where we have the two premolars. Right. You're going to see how close this was in the post-op scan. Place the implants. These are Biomax implants. There are the implants in place. Right. There's a post-op two-dimensional x-ray. Looks like I'm running into the, into the root of the adjacent tooth here, right? Well, let's see what the CBCP looks like. A little bit better. All right, a little bit better. Here's the molar. Here is 
an overlay. The green is where I plan to place the implant, and the white is the actual implant placed in the patient's mouth. All right. Here's an axial view, an axial video again. The molar one's a little bit off, isn't it? But the other two are perfect. The reason the molar one's a little bit off is because I placed it by hand and the bone back there was softer. The implants tend to drift. Okay. But is it significant? Not really. All right. Here, where the bone was denser, look how ideal those placements are. The red is where we plan to put the implants and the white is where the implants actually ended up. All right? Here's a visual representation of that now. You can see the red is where we plan to place the implants and the white is the actual post-op CBCT, the two images overlooked. All right? How many of you can get that level of accuracy with free hand placement? I know I can. And I've placed thousands of implants. I've taught thousands of doctors how to place implants. I can't do it this good, all right, without a guide. So how do we actually accomplish this? You do need to do your, uh, your, your due diligence. You have to get your proper clinical diagnosis. You've got to acquire your data, which in, in our case means the CBCT. There's no way around that. You've got to get your impressions, your bite registration, mount your cases up, do your wax ups if you so choose, right? Have those scanned and then find the case and print your gut. No optical scanner is 100% going around an arch. You need a full arch to make a gut, okay? So for those of you who do not have an optical scanner, you do need a CBCT. You can actually scan a stone model in your CBCT and bring that into the blue sky plan so you don't have to get an optical scanner. I've even developed a technique where you can scan an impression, a vital poly polysiloxate impression, bring that into the blue sky plan, and then use that on which to fabricate your gut, right, or to design your gut. And Michael said that the functionality to do that, I, sh I showed it to him, you know, what's really unique about the blue sky company is, or the, the, the software is, they take input and they update their software with that input. I'm here to share with you, you know, things that I have only recently discovered myself, literally within a year and a half, and it has completely transformed our practice, all right? So you can take a scan of the impression, bring it into the Blue Sky software, and convert it, reverse the image. So you can do this and then make the guide on this. Now, I'm not here to teach you the software, all right? I have a course, if you want to fly to Fort Lauderdale, April 30th, and sign up for our course. I'll teach you all of this stuff in one day. Right? It's an amazing course. We run it five times now, and it's been sold out every, every time. All right? I'm actually flying from here to Long Beach, California to give another lecture on, on 3D printing for a company that makes CBCTs, all right? because it is going to transform our profession, just like Tesla is transforming the world with their technologies. All right? So here's a case that was just done last week by one of my students. So great, Rick Ferguson could do this big deal, right? You know. Here's what he did. He did exactly what I thought. He bought a Robox, sell a Robox printer. He got the Blue Sky software. He got the Blue Sky implant kit. This is his first case, placing an implant. Now he did it flapless, which is fine. He's placed hundreds of implants. He's, he's been, you know, I have full confidence in his ability. What he said, he wrote me an, e an email this, just uh, two days ago, and I asked him if I could use it in my lecture. And he had these pictures. I'm very happy with adding this technique to my practice, and we'll be using it for all upcoming implants.